Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today we will be going through another Pilates flow. Um, we will be focusing a lot on the core, on the legs and on the arms today. We will be using a weight. Um, weight. Uh, if you don't have weight, you can use a can of beans. Uh, you could also use a bottle of water. Or if you have wrist weights or ankle weights, you can use that. If you don't have any weights at all, don't worry about it. You can still get the benefits of the class without using the weights. I'm using 1.5 kilogram weights. Anything um, half a kilogram, one kilogram, one half, up to two would be enough um, unless you're feeling extra strong. So we're going to start just kneeling on our mat. Let's tuck the chin in towards the chest, roll one ear towards one shoulder, and then take it all the way to the opposite side. So just mobilizing the neck. Start to engage the belly button towards the spine, lifting up the pelvic floor. Let's go for two. And let's go for last one from there. Float your left hand over the side of your body. If you want to increase the stretch, you can also drop your hips to the left. And then taking it back, bring your head with you and then extend your right fingertips away from your body. And let's take it to the opposite side, floating the right hand over and maybe dropping the hips. Let's take the head with us. And from there, let's bring ourselves into an all fours position. If at any point your wrists are getting sore, please feel free to go onto your fists. Otherwise, bring your um, wrists under your shoulders, knees are directly under your hips. Let's drop the belly, open the chest, open the collarbones, look up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, tuck the chin in. Inhale, we open. Exhale, push the ground away. And again, last one, inhale, drop. Exhale, seeker through the spine. From there, bring yourself back to center. Let's tuck the toes under. And on your next exhalation, hover both knees off the ground. Just warming up the core in this half plank. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Release the knees down. If at any point you need to sit back and roll out your wrists, do so. And then let's grab the weight. So the wrist is going directly under the shoulder, palm is going up. Inhale, open your right arm and left leg up. Exhale, bring your chin in, knee goes towards the elbow, seek through the spine. Inhale, reach the toe, reach the fingers. Exhale, bring the elbow towards the knee. And again, keep pushing the ground away with that left hand, grounding through the right knee. Neck is staying nice and long. And let's go for two more on this side. Shoulders are working strong, working the core. Last one. And then extend away from the center. Bring your right elbow in towards your waist. On your exhalation, you lift the arm behind and lift the leg. Inhale, lower everything down. Exhale, lift and lengthen. Inhale, bring everything back. Exhale, lift. Inhale, back. Make sure to elongate the back of the neck. Belly button is in. Core is working. We lift for three. Let's go for two. Last one. Keep it lifted. Little pulses here for nine, eight, seven more, six, five, four, three, two, one. And one, bring your hand down, release the weight. We're switching to the opposite side. Palm is facing the ceiling. Inhale, lift your left arm, right leg. Exhale, knee to elbow, open your spine towards the sky. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring it in. And again, open, reach with the fingers, reach with the toes. Try to point through the toes if you can. And we go for three. And let's go for two more. Last one. And let's go, keep it extended. Bring your left elbow in towards your waist. Tap that toe down. Exhale, we lift. Inhale to lower. We lift, extend that elbow. Bring it in, working the tricep, the right hand. The fingers are spreading wide, pushing the ground away. 
it's your stable base you can move from lifting for three let's go for two last one lift it up little pulses here for nine eight seven six more five four core strong three two one release the weight release your knee just sit back onto your heels and let's roll out the wrists so go in one way and if it's the brain is working today take it to the opposite side from there let's bring ourselves into a full plank position your weight is going to go on the outside of your right hand you can do this in a full plank or with your knees down so take your option if you're coming with me step your feet back push your heels away make sure your wrists are directly under your shoulders from there you pick up the weight switch it to the outside of your left wrist hand goes down pick up with the left outside of the right and down absolutely feel free to do this with your knees down you can still get the benefits and work the core if you're in your full plank keep going try to isolate the movement and not rock too much in your core torso is strong for three let's go for two last one and beautiful release those knees down let's take a child's pose and when you're ready start rolling through the spine slowly head is heavy slowly grow tall through the crown of your head and let's lie down onto our side grabbing your weight you can be on your elbow on an extended arm or make a little pillow for your head whatever doesn't put tension in your body bring your legs into a 90 degree angle so your knees are in line with your hips your feet are in line with your knees make sure the hips are staying stacked and push that top hip away so you're lengthening through the waist right elbow is in towards your waist exhale to lift inhale to lower so we're lifting the weight and opening that leg at the same time maintaining the 90 degree angle in the knee point through the toes if you can make sure your chest is staying open and you're not holding any tension in the neck or the shoulders you can absolutely do this without the weight and if it's getting too much at any point drop the weight down and continue without it we go for three let's go for two last one keep the leg open rest your weight onto the leg little circles here we go for six five four more three two one reverse reverse it back four five four three two one bring that weight back into the waist as you exhale you extend everything away inhale bring elbow towards the knee exhale away inhale bring everything in so point the toe away reach the fingers above the head you're working the arms working those legs and the core is staying engaged, holding your spine nice and still for four. And let's go for three and two. Last one. Keep everything extended on your next one. From there, knees stay straight, elbow straight, bring everything in. Exhale, extend everything away. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, lowering towards the floor. Exhale in and everything away keep going i think i've just switched the breath but as long as you're breathing i don't mind if at any point you're feeling like it's getting a lot on your neck please release your head onto the floor you can even use a yoga block or a little cushion under your head for three and two last one lower the leg towards the floor and place your weight onto your hip little circles with the leg point in the toe and draw in a little circle for six five four three two one reverse for six five four three two one flex the foot two pulses up two pulses forward two pulses to the side two pulses forward I think I've just seen that my foot is really dirty <laughs> sorry for that the studio is a bit mucky <laughs> and let's go side and forward 
and side you might be feeling the burn and forward make sure to elongate out of this hip socket when the leg is to the side let's go for last one bring it forward keep it forward internal rotation so you're pointing the toe towards the floor tap and lift for six five more four three two one let's release everything down roll onto your back and let's take a figure four stretch here and stretch out that glute so that working leg is going over the opposite knee give it a little pull towards your chest oof what a burn and let's release the feet down onto the ground we will stay here for some abdominals before we move on bring your hands behind your head interlace the fingers elbows are staying nice and wide exhale lift your head neck and shoulders off the floor inhale bring them down exhale to lift inhale down so make sure you're keeping the space under your chin neck is staying long and every time you lift imprint your lower back into the floor let's go for three Feel those shoulder blades off the ground a little bit higher every time. Last one, keep yourself lifted. Bring your legs into a tabletop position. Right toe taps, bring it in. Left toe taps, bring it in. Keep going. Little tap and bring it back. If this is too easy, tap them further away from your body. Let's go for three, elbows wide. Two and one feet together keep the legs in tabletop release your head down exhale lift yourself up and extend both arms by your sides inhale bring yourself back exhale lift and reach inhale back if you need to release the feet onto the ground you can do so if you need the support for your neck you can go for one hand only so switching arms every time otherwise stay with me for three and two on the last one stay lifted bring your right knee towards your chest extend your left leg away come up a little bit higher and then we switch and switch switch and switch a few more here pointing the toe away chest is open give that knee a little pull towards your chest every time it comes in three two one keep the knee in extend your arms towards your feet inhale them up exhale them down for three and two you can release the opposite foot onto the floor if you need to last one switching knees opposite knee is in extend the arms inhale them up exhale down again the knee is there for you or the foot rather for two last one bring your hands behind your head opposite knee to opposite elbow and switch 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 four three two one bring your knees in towards your chest rocking side to side you can look to the right look to the left if you're feeling any tension in your neck and then bring your head and shoulders off the ground bring your hands behind your knees from there start taking little rocks so tiny little rocks seeker through the spine keep your chin tucked in and every time you come up try to balance on your sit bones without releasing your feet onto the ground so you inhale come up exhale roll back inhale back so try to balance without lowering the feet if you need to place the feet down on the ground you can do so otherwise make sure you're only rolling as far as your shoulder blades so we're protecting the neck for two on the last one come up and balance stay up lifting up those sit bones switch the grip bring your thumbs over the ankles fingers go behind extend your right leg bring it in left leg extends bring it in extend bring it in the opposite leg and bring it in last two last one keep the left leg extended let's extend the right one as well and then we hold maybe you're holding onto the ankles sliding the shoulders down maybe you can extend your arms and hold for three two one release the feet down and let's just bring our hands under the knees grab a hold of opposite elbows and then pull away from your feet so as if somebody's trying to pull you by your middle back 
tuck the chin in, tuck the tailbone under. Well done, everybody. And then we are switching onto the opposite side for our legs. So come line on your side. Make sure your feet are in line with your knees. Your knees are in line with your hips. And then placing your head down or maybe coming onto the elbow. Grab that weight. On an exhalation, we open. Inhale to close. Exhale to open. Inhale to close. And keep going. No tension in the jaw or between those brows. Down for four and three. Let's go for two. Last one, keep it up. Place that weight onto your leg. Little circles here for five, four, three, two, one. We reverse for five, four, three, two, one, bring the weight back in, exhale, extend everything away, inhale, knee to elbow, exhale out, inhale, bring it in, we go out, and in, and again, and in, belly button is engaged towards the spine, let's go for three, just two more, last one, keep everything extended, let's bring everything in, Exhale, extend, inhale in, knees staying straight, elbows staying straight, and then we're bringing that leg towards the floor and bringing the hand over the head. For three, let's go for two, last one, and then let's bring the weight onto that leg, little circles here. So draw in a little circle, tracing it with the toe, try to stay nice and still in the rest of the body. For four, three, two, one, we reverse. For five, four, three, two, one. Here comes the burn. Flex your foot, two pulses to the side. Swing it forward, two pulses forward. Two pulses side. Two pulses forward. Trust me, I'm feeling it too. Side and forward. Stay with me, breathe through it, side and forward inhale exhale last one exhale forward keep it forward internal rotation tap lift tap lift for five four more three two one release the weight rolling onto your back let's take that figure four stretch here Finding the stretch in the glute. Flex the feet for some extra engagement if you want to. Okay team, from there let's release the feet. So straighten them out and flex your feet. Bring your hands above your head. I'm going to give you a variation, this is too much. On your inhalation, you bring your arms up towards the ceiling, lift your head. As you exhale, abdominals engage, bring yourself all the way up and over your legs. Reach the fingers forward. And as you inhale, you start C curving through the spine, slowly with control, roll yourself all the way down. Let's do that again. Inhale up, exhale, core engaged, coming all the way up and over into this forward fold. Inhale, exhale on the way down, touch the ground, slowly roll through the spine. If this is too much, you can bend your knees and walk your hands onto your legs to bring yourself up into a seated position. Shoulders down, seeker through the spine on the way back. Walk your hands down and slowly roll yourself down. So this is your variation. That will make it a little bit easier. If you're coming with me, inhale, arms up, head up. Exhale, core engaged, coming all the way up. Reach with the crown of the head. Inhale, exhale, touching the lower, middle, and upper back onto the floor slowly. Really articulate through the spine all the way up and on the way down. Take it to your own level, in your own time, with your own breath. Let's do a couple more of full roll-ups like this. And let's go for last two. And let's go for last one. And this time, as you come up, 
stretch over those legs and on your way back, lean back halfway and stay here. Option to bend your knees, that will make it a little bit easier if you're with me, just flex your feet forward. Right heel slides in, right heel slides out. Left heel in, left heel out. So stay on this edge, make sure your shoulders are staying away from your ears, the belly button is engaged towards the spine. Palms are facing each other. Stay with me and breathe for two, Actually, let's make it three. This is two. Last one. And then your right arm will lift. Bring it down. Left arm, bring it down. We go four. And three. If you need to bend your knees, do so. Two. Last one. Bring your hands into a prayer position. We twist and twist. For three, two, one. Bring yourself back to center. Extend the arms out. We go knee in, lean back. Knee in, lean back. So we crunch forward and then we lean back. Keep the feet flexed if you can. Crunch, lean back. For three, just two more, two. Last one, lean back, hold for three, two, one. Bring yourself all the way up and over your legs. Let's take a forwards fold. If the forwards fold is not for you, bring your feet together, knees apart, and just drape yourself all over your legs. Just find a deeper inhalation and deeper exhalation. Just slow the breath and the heartbeat down. And then we will go for some more glutes. So when you're ready, cross your legs over and push yourself all over your legs or whichever way you want to find yourself into an all fours position, do so. So I'm going to be using my weight. If you have any ankle weights, um, you can use your ankle weights. If you don't have ankle weights or anything like a water, bottle of water or a can of beans, don't use the weights at all. So the weight is going to go behind my right knee and then let's come on to our forearms. So forearms are down and I'm squeezing that weight. Push the ground away with the forearms to protract through the shoulders. Make sure you are separating those shoulder blades. Let's flex the foot. We exhale to kick up, inhale to bring it down. Exhale to kick, inhale, bring it down. You will really have to squeeze that weight to keep it there but give it a try and down. Belly button is in. Try to keep those hips in line with each other. Square towards the floor. The next one, let's keep it up. Little pulses up for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, and one. Release your knee down. Bring your right hand in line with your left elbow. Point the toe. Knee comes towards the elbow bring it back we go in and then you kick it back we go in and back so only extend as far as you can keep the hold of that weight between your knee and keep going for four and three two more last one and bring your knees together feet together open out to the side bring your knees in exhale lift Inhale back for six. Chest is open, push out of that forearm. Four and three. Just two more. On the last one, keep it lifted, little pulse. And lift, lift and lift for five, four, three, two, one. Release the weight. Oof. Taking it to the opposite side. Let's go on to the opposite leg. Weight goes behind the knee, squeeze it in, forearms are down. Try to keep forearms parallel to each other, push out of the forearms, flex the foot, we go kick and tap. Exhale, kick, inhale, tap. Make sure the belly button is in, shoulders are open, and try to isolate the movement just to the leg. So challenge yourself, how still can you be in the rest of your body? Let's go for four. Three more, and two. Last one, keep it lifted, little pulses here. Nine, eight, seven more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. 
left hand down, bring the knee down. So left hand in line with the elbow and let's go. We go knee to elbow, extend it behind, tap, bring it back. We go tap, bring it back. Second side always feels a little bit worse because the other side is already on fire. For four and three, two more. Last one, and then bring those knees together, feet together, exhale to open out to the side, bring the knees together, exhale, lift, inhale, tap, exhale, lift, inhale, tap, chest is rotated, hips are slightly open for four, just three more, and two, last one, keep it lifted, little pulse, and lift, lift, for four, three more, two, one, release everything down. Let's release that weight and take and take a child's pose here. Just stretch your arms forward. You can breathe your knees wide, feet together. And let's just roll out through the forehead to the right and to the left. And take a big inhalation through the nose. Exhale, release. Soften through the hips. And when you're ready, start rolling through the spine into a seated position. And let's take a little stretch. Let's step our right foot forward, coming into your low lunge. So allow your hips to drop down and forward. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed, neck is nice and long. Stretching out that hip flexing quad. If this is not, too, not enough, reach your left hand to the back and bring your left heel into your glute. You will feel the increase in the stretch. And let's bring the left hand down, tuck the left toes under, bring your left knee off the floor and open your right arm up towards the ceiling. Both hands on the inside of the right foot, heel toe the right foot out to about 45 degrees. Release the left knee down. Maybe you want to stay up on your arms. Maybe you want to come onto your forearms into this lizard stretch. And from there, bring that foot back into the center. Frame the foot with your hands. And then we go for a little flow. We shift the weight into the back knee, straighten the right knee, and then you push yourself back forward into your low lunge. We go shifting back and then shifting forward. Make sure you're flexing your right foot on the way back. And then we hinge forward. And this time let's stay back. Slide your right heel forward. And then try to lead with your chest. Lean into this right knee. Keep your right foot flexed. Find this hamstring stretch. And swinging that leg to the back. We switch on to the opposite side. So stepping the left foot forward into your low lunge again allowing the hips to drop maybe reaching for that right foot increasing the stretch and then right hand down left hand extends up towards the ceiling lift the right knee off the ground push the heel away both hands on the inside of the left foot Heel toe the foot out to 45 degrees, knee down, and tuck the toe, maybe staying here, maybe coming all the way down onto the forearms. Let's bring the foot back into the center, frame the foot, and let's go for that little flow, shifting back, shifting forwards, hinge back, hinge forward. Last two. And on the next one, stay back. Slide your left heel forward, leaning forward. Keep your left foot flexed. And let's swing that leg to the back. Find your all fours position. Let's take a cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, tuck in the tailbone under, tuck the chin in. Inhale, open. Exhale, seeker through the spine. Last one. 
exhale bring your spine into neutral sit back onto your heels float both arms up towards the ceiling inhale and as you exhale release your hands by your sides well done everybody let me know how you did and um, if you have any requests for other videos or other workouts let me know in the comment section below otherwise don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you guys soon on my channel bye